Uh, Larks Lake Road was a very important road uh, when the Camp Pelson State Prison was open. That uh, was one of the main north-south routes for not only the the uh, workers at the prison, but also the uh, logging trucks. There was a logging camp up there too that the state ran. So uh, it, it used to get a lot of traffic, a lot of commercial traffic. But uh, when the prison closed down, um, obviously the traffic dro dropped off drastically. Went from about 900 cars a day down to less than 100. Well, the, you know, the road, the road is a primary road and it's also a federal aid road. Um, Unfortunately, with the lack of traffic on it, uh, the priority on that road really dropped off. And of course, with our state funding, uh, we weren't able to maintain the road uh, anymore in, in a decent condition. So we were spending anywhere from fifteen to $25,000 a year in cold patch alone on it. So the board made the uh, decision. Uh, we've been talking about it for three or four years, but finally it came to a head this year that we're going to pulverize that road. It would be a lot easier for us to maintain as a gravel road and the citizens would be a lot happier because they don't have to drive through potholes every day. Okay. Uh, we've got a uh, pavement, pavement pulverization contractor up uh, pavement recycling. They're out of Inlay City. Uh, they got this big machine with these uh, big drum rollers with, with teeth on them that basically grind the asphalt pavement and mix it in with the uh, gravel. And then uh, behind the uh, pulverizer as it's going down the road, we've got our grader out there plus uh, a water truck uh, to make sure that the gravel stays moist and also our vibratory compactor. And um, I invite anybody to go out there and take a ride. The, ride, the road ride's really nice right now. Great. Well, it'll be a lot easier for uh, us, for one thing, to maintain the road, but the citizens will be probably a little happier with the, uh, the smoothness of the road. Uh, unfortunately, it is gonna be a little dirtier uh, for the citizens that live, like in the Boiner subdivision. Uh, just because you know it's going to be a gravel road, and uh, their, their vehicles are going to get a little little dirtier. Um, eventually, we'd like to get uh, some kind of funding increase at the state, and we might have enough money to at least pave that nine tenths of a mile north of Sutsonville, so that that's where the bulk of the traffic goes.